going on everybody welcome to mpg and today we're going to be taking a look at my plants out back we're just going to be taking a look at the updates that i've been doing this past week i do want to point out to each and one of you that nunez pepper garden actually has a facebook fan page i just started it i just want to interact with each and one of you every day if, if, if possible so you guys can see what's going on every day because there's just a lot to be done throughout the days you know um, i go out there i water you know top plants whatever the case may be it's all there on my live feeds um i will be posting events you know i do want to get together with all my fans you know maybe a lunch day whatever it might be but um but yeah everybody so um go check out my my uh, facebook fan page you guys can search it under at nunez peppers or you guys could just search it under nunez pepper garden it will pop up and um, I would really appreciate it if you guys share that page with each and one of your friends. Also, my YouTube videos, you know, I would really appreciate that. I just want to get the word out of uh, Nunez Pepper Garden. And um, so let's just go take a look at my plants and we'll come back. <laughs> All right, everybody. Buddy, so we're going to be taking a look at my garden over here. You know, as you can see, it is a beautiful day in L.A. today. And um, but first thing is first, I just want to, you know, just give you guys a quick update of what's been going on this past week i did start a facebook fan page and if you guys are interested and you guys want to go follow me there for my weekly live feeds or my updates throughout the week throughout the days <laughs> um it's at um i guess on the search you would put at nunez peppers or you guys could put nunez pepper garden it, it'll come up and um you guys please like me there and if you guys you know i, I would really appreciate if you guys share uh, my my Facebook fan page as well along with my my YouTube videos you know I really want to encourage everybody to start doing that just to spread the word of NPG and the, of the things that I'm doing over here in my garden so um, so let's take a quick look at my at my garden um, as you can see it's beautiful today plants are nice and perky and what I did this past week was uh, I actually top the Y's that were forming you know just to create more of a uh, lower branch growth you know just to promote just to promote more of a uniform bushy look but yet we're still flowering and uh, we're still producing oh sorry guys i just burped <laughs> and um as you can see we're starting to pop some pods over here that's a seven pot bubblegum large yellow and um like again everybody it's just there's a lot of things going on over here there's a lot of flowering going on and um, another thing that I did too yesterday in my live feed over at my NPG fan page, um, I uh, applied some of oyster shell. And what I did was I just put a quarter of a cup on all these five gallon containers and just watered it in just to promote more of a little bit more calcium inside the soil just to get these flowers going, this flower production going. And, um, you know, and it, you know, there's many benefits to it. You know, it actually naturally adjusts your pH and your soil. So if there's any deficiencies going on, it would, you know, it will slowly correct it and make sure that your plants are feeding at optimal levels and certain nutrients that it actually needs. And um, so, again, everybody, that's, uh, that's oyster shell from down to earth. Tomorrow, we'll be top dressing all these plants with uh, fish bone meal from down to earth just to start promoting uh, heavy pepper production. I want to start kicking some of these plants in already into production and uh and yeah everybody so so stay tuned for that more likely i'll be doing a live feed with that as well on my facebook page and um so if you guys are interested in this product i'm gonna put it uh i'm gonna put this link down to this product down on my description of this video so you guys could just check it right there you know if you guys like it click it it's only like 10.99 for like that five six pound box so um it's a really good deal everybody so um let's go take a look at my, at my seven pot bubblegum cross plant all right everybody as you can see um she just started throwing out pods again she just started I, i'm telling you guys i mean she's just a heavy 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 producer and again throughout my weekly live feeds i found this nasty little pepper right here look how evil it looks nice stinger and this is my uh, personal cross of mine and um, I'm telling you, she's a very heavy producer. She throws out peppers left and right. This is just her first set of peppers after I harvest this. Trust me, she will blow out again. So you can see these crimson clovers are coming in really nice. And um, just compliments the plant. Yes, uh, there's not a lot of leaf going on because <laughs> she decided she wanted to go into flower and start producing. 
but I will encourage more vegetative growth as well but in the same time she will be spitting out peppers as well but there is plenty of leaves to still perform uh, photosynthesis so I'm not worried about that uh, as you can see my cherry red tomatoes are looking fine they already kicked in they started to grow they already took root my Carolina Reapers there's two in this 10 gallon smart pot okay and they're doing fantastic my jalapenos again this is just for when I'm barbecuing you know I love grilling jalapenos so you can see this cover crop already kicked in really nice and I already took root too this plant was a part of one of my live feeds as well I actually decided that I want to save this plant and um, again this was a, hydroplan a hydroponically grown plant from last year it was my biggest plant that I had um, this was my Carolina Reaper but she was throwing out phenols that looked like a Naga or Naga Dorset whatever you guys want to call it the Naga peppers and um, but she was a very heavy producer I inoculated with some clover clover crop seeds I uh, topped it with some fox farm ocean forest soil as well and I, and, um, and I also inoculated the container with uh, European night crawlers and red wiggler composting worms just so they can start eating up the dead uh, organic root matter that's in that in that container and start you know because look this plant's not giving up she's flowering she's just not giving up and I just want to show you how thick her branches are branches size of my thumb <laughs> so um, let's see if she kicks back in and uh, hopefully she'll kick it to overdrive real soon because she is a heavy producer another of my tomato plants and other cherry variety as you can see this clover cover crop is kicking in really nice as well it did take root my plant and um, we got new clover cover crop coming in as well and that's it everybody as you can see everything's looking great over here in, uh, over at MPG and again, everybody, you guys can search me at uh, at Nunez Peppers or Nunez Pepper Garden on Facebook. So you guys can follow me on my fan page. I mean, on my for my live feeds. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> and yes, there's already some ladybugs already here. So um, I'm really happy to see that. I did see some praying mantis. So um, we got our, our defenders of the garden. So um, I got nothing to worry about. Um, all I'm going to keep doing is just feeding them, watering them, and, uh, and that's it, everybody. Oh, and uh, my 7-pot bubblegum cross, cross with the BTR, and we got pepper setting in already. I don't know if you guys can see this. Sorry about the poor lighting, but it actually looks pretty cool. And over here, these two plants were are my 7-pot uh, bubblegum cross, cross with the Carolina Reaper. And yes, they are setting pods. There's a little wicked little pod that I like. I like what I'm seeing right here, but there's thousand more uh, peppers to hunt for, more phenols to you know to hunt for. As you can see, she's really nice and uniform. By when I was topping those little Ys, as you can see, I'm promoting more of a lower branch growth now, and she's just looking great, everybody. I'm uh, really excited. I'm really happy to see the results. As you can see, they, these both of these plants took the seven pot bubblegum cross purple tint tra uh, traits as well with the purple branches which um, I'm really excited and the plant looks really nice this one is my seven pot bubblegum cross cross with the Carolina Reaper and we had topped her and as you can see these lower branches I mean she blew out like crazy now she's starting to throw out flower buds so real soon she'll be kicking into overdrive she will be producing peppers and um, just things are looking really great as you can tell this is my green phenol so we got a purple one and then we got a green one but who knows which pet plant will be producing the most wickedest pod <laughs> all right everybody so that's a quick update over here at mpg let's get back to the tent because it's getting really hot <laughs> all right everybody as you can see all my plants are doing fantastic i'm really happy on the results that i'm getting over there um like i said throughout my for for my facebook fan page you know you guys will see more of updates that's going on throughout the garden over here and um it's another way of interacting with each one of my fans and all my supporters and um so yeah everybody you know things are looking great you know i top the plants i just want to promote more of a lower branch growth more of a uniform bushy plant and um, but yeah we're still going to be producing peppers yes tomorrow we'll be getting some more down-to-earth fish bone meal to uh to start encouraging way more flower production and get more peppers to stick. All right, everybody, so if you guys are in your flowering stages, 
make sure you guys check the description down below because uh, I put a link down to the down to earth fish bone meal and um, and you guys trust me you guys won't be disappointed on the results you guys will thank me later trust me <laughs> alright everybody and if you guys oh and there's one more thing I want to point out if you guys are looking to you know setting up a grow tent or you guys are looking to getting a kind LED or you know you guys want to set up a, a grow room or whatever the case may be you guys can reach JT over at smooth home growing trust me he will take care of you guys i will put down i'll put his information down on this on the description of this video and trust me just let him know that nunez pepper garden sent you and he will hook you guys up he will give you guys a great deal on a, an entire setup whatever the case may be he is your guy <laughs> all right everybody so um um so that's pretty much it top my plants i uh try to revive one of my plants and um so that's it, pretty much it and i um, and, and again thank you all for tuning into my channel i really do appreciate it um and that's uh don't forget to yeah let's let's just get to it <laughs> i'm sorry guys <laughs> so um don't forget to go check out gorilla grow tent kind led down to earth smart pot and method seven and again smooth home growing you guys won't be disappointed all right, everybody, please like the video. Please share this video with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody, you guys take care.